we will demonstrate a technique where for surgeons who don't have an access to a pupil expander like a malagon expander anchor expander or a b hex expander in these cases even your stretch pupilloplasty will not work because the pupil is not exactly non elastic it's an elastic pupil so if you do a stretch pupilloplasty it will not work nahi ma'am light ko dekhenge so we will try putting a little bit of adding nahi ma'am aise nahi hum ye jhatka jo maar rahe acha nahi hai ma'am ye please nahi idiot so i put some adrenaline epitrate hoping but it shall not work so we will demonstrate a situation where a micro sphincterotomy can be done so the trick is first fill in the viscoelastic in the anterior chamber slightly put some amount of viscoelastic behind the iris to lift the iris away from the capsule then we create micro small sphincters hilana nahi ma'am apne bilkul these are small micro sphincterotomies and you'll be amazed that tomorrow morning they will look nearly normal once the pupil closes they will fix onto themselves and behave normally mam light ko dekhte rahiye keep instilling viscoelastic you have to make sure you don't accidentally cut the capsule when you do that needs a little bit of practice but it works very well don't be over eager and give a larger bite because then you'll have a disfigured pupil the trick is to create very very small sphincter sphincteric openings keep refilling the anterior chamber you can nearly do a 360 degrees sphincterotomy with this technique and the pupil will be remaining beautifully round the next day morning once the pupil comes down to your shape provided you don't do over zealous wing taught me for this you need patient to be little cooperative you see i'm creating wing taught me is here So there we have a near 360 degree sink for me, and you can see how the pupil will now expand. There, it's given me a decent working space. Now the only thing to remember is when you're doing your phaco procedure, stay away from these tags of the pupil. You might end up pulling them. Make sure you do your capsular access as near to the margin as possible, because the whole purpose of doing this is to have a largest possible visible capsular axis there you are this elastic now that gives you a very very decent sized pupillary opening now you do a cortical cleaving had to dissection there you saw the wave since it's a floppy pupil it will tend to come out it will tend to be pulled by your ia or your phaco probe make sure you rotate the nucleus well now before you go in push some viscoelastic downwards pushing the iris back because this is a floppy iris and the iris will tend to obstruct your phaco tip as it goes in now now bevel downwards make sure you lift the lips slightly and enter in one go then start your fluid if you go with the fluid on like a normal case your rs will prolapse out now the next trick is to stay away from the edges of the sphincter taught me 
rotate the nucleus we will attempt a vertical chop in this particular case फिर को कम कर दो बेटे एंड वी डन अ वर्टिकल चॉप सो एज आई सेड वर्टिकल चॉप कम वेरी हैंडी वेर द पीपल्स आर स्मॉल यू हैव अ स्मॉलर एक्सेस इट्स एन आइडियल गो टू टेक्निक टू चॉप देर you can pull the quadrant up make sure try and do things in the pupillary plane don't go deep rotate your nuclear fragments you can keep chopping so this is not exactly a very hard cataract so you may lose grip while you're trying to chop so you can do the d flip technique here I will describe the D flip nucleotomy in my coming series of back to basics. Now you can see that I flipped the whole D segment into the anterior chamber, and I'm working away from the posterior capsule and the iris. So sometimes the iris sphincterotomy near the main wound can get extended. because of excessive trauma of trying to come out of the wound so there you are again before you go in with your instrument you see the pupil is nearly round the swing trotary is not that disturbing for the patient we will go ahead and do uh, irrigation aspiration again i put in some viscoelastic before i'm going in again while you do this you have to remember don't end up pulling the sink taught me cut loose edge if you do that it will look very ugly the next day morning because it will stand out like a large tongue so you can use a bi manual if you're comfortable I am comfortable with both so I am choosing to is elastic and there you are we just push in the lens and the surgery is over so